Brawl Thought just dropped, and I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about this update fast. Brawl Stars is collaborating with Godzilla to bring us a Mega Monster event from April 29th to May 20th with a lot of rewards. You get these from Monster Eggs, which work like star drops, and they do have rarities. They also drop coins, power points, credits, bling, brand new skins, and mutations? Initially, I thought that these would be skins, but no, these mutate and enhance your brawler's abilities. There are over 30 unique mutations that you can get, and the ones we know so far are that Bulls lets him place an unlimited amount of mines on the map, while Big Mama Pams has her packing unlimited ammo in her arsenal. Hank's mutation is such a meme where if he gets hit, it triggers his super. Now these are super broken, and I know at this point, you're a bit worried and wondering what that means for the game and the meta. Well, mutations aren't permanent, and the great thing is that mutations can only be played on game modes that have the mutation modifier, so you don't have to worry about it in other game modes. To get monster eggs, you have to get your Gogeta on in a new 3v3 game mode, City Smash. Only kaijus can destroy the city, so teams need to collect resources like bolts in order to have a member transform into either Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla. There also seem to be the cylinders on the map and while i don't know what they're for i'm gonna assume that they blow up if the hp gets to zero anyway if you win a match you get a monster egg while losing it gives you a rare star drop hey that's better than nothing we also get two monster eggs from the daily rewards as well we aren't yet done with monster eggs clubs are usually a second thought but there's actually a great reason to be in a club this season with the Godzilla Egg Breakers event, every monster egg that a member of your club breaks goes towards breaking the Godzilla egg in your club. If your club members collectively break 1,250 eggs, you get a hypercharged Godzilla buskin for absolutely free, and you also get to collect 55 gems along the way. What are hypercharged skins? Well, they're a new skin rarity. Think of legendary skins with all their custom effects and cosmetics, but now, when you use a hypercharge, your brawler transforms once more. I'm not sure about the cost, but with all its effects, I can safely say that it's at these 299 gems. For now, we get Godzilla Buzz, Black Godzilla Buzz, and Red Godzilla Buzz. If you're scared that your club won't be able to unlock the hypercharged Buzz skins, you can buy more monster eggs in the shop, and they'll count towards the club progression as well. The flagship brawler of the Godzilla season is Lily. She should be released on May 2nd. Lily is now a mythic brawler, but used to be a human girl who was lured into the enchanted woods and captured by an evil flower that transformed her into a human plant firefly chimera. She'll be a part of the enchanted trio joining Cordelius. Her attack range is fairly small, and she has only one ammo that takes about 0.54 seconds to reload and does about 2,400 damage to a single target with this attack. Her super, Flourish, remedies her short range. If she lands her super on a target, it teleports her behind them, allowing her to assassinate squishy targets. Fittingly, her mastery title is called Backstabber. We don't know what her star power is, but it's safe to assume it increases the damage of one hit after teleporting by 50%. She also is able to charge her super when she's near enemies like Buzz or Cordelius. On release, Lily also comes with a 29 gem skin called Strawberry Lily. Draco is a legendary brawler due to be released on June 6th. He belongs to a new area in Star Park called Medieval Manor and is a master storyteller who likes painting images of dragons and fiery battles in the minds of Star Park visitors. Using his custom guitar, he fires off a piercing attack that does damage in a four tile range, dealing damage based on how far away the target is, much like Piper. He seems to stop moving while attacking, like Frank, and it takes about 1.5 seconds to reload his ammo. Since he has a tank trait, any damage received charges a super, which when used allows Draco to mount a dragon that shoots flamethrowers that pierces enemies nearby. And it works like a weaker but shorter amber attack. This dragon is bulky, sporting 10,040 HP, and moves faster while taking lesser damage. On release, he comes with a 29 gem skin called Dark Rank Draco. I'll go over both Lily and Draco in a future sneak peek video, so make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. We get six new hypercharges this season. Brox allows Rocket Rain to shoot four times as many rockets. Sandy Sandstorm makes allies faster within it, and landing the Sandstorm briefly silences people like Otis's super. Nina is able to power up Bruce, allowing him to move faster with more HP. Max drops an energy drink which uses her super, which enhances ally speeds and charges their super a little bit. Tick's head moves faster, and when it explodes, it lets out six mini mines like its gadget. G's super splits into three hands, which allows him to grab up 
to three enemies. I personally like Sandy's, but I'd like to know, which one would you guys get? We get 13 new skins in May with the Godzilla season. Mechatech Ghidorah is the Brawl Pass skin. You also get dark and light color variations obtainable from the Brawl Pass Plus. Next is Mechagodzilla and her trusty Kaiju Bruce. Mothra Eve, whose whole motif is now moth based. The exclusive skin Ranger Brock has been remodeled and reworked into five new Super Ranger Brock skins. We get red, yellow, pink, black, and blue variations of this new skin. I noticed that the Super summons all the other Super Rangers to the field to unleash a rocket rain. And it seems like the blue Super Ranger Brock skin will be a legendary one based on the takedown animation. Godzilla Buzz is obtainable for monster eggs and black and red color variations are as well. Let me know which Godzilla skins are you thinking of buying? In June, we get seven more skins in the Cyber Brawl season. Hacker Brock is the new Brawl Pass skin, and he comes with two color variations obtainable from the Brawl Pass Plus, Master Hacker Brock and RGB Hacker Brock. B-Bite seems to be a software bug, while Fangar looks to take down your shield. I like Lish, Larry, and Lori, and they seem to be inspired by Mr. Game Watch. And finally, Virus Charlie, who seems to be a legendary skin, and I say this only because of the modified voice lines in the Brawl Talk. I'm personally going to cop the Robo Twins. What about you? We're not done. We get 16 other skins. Beast Byron is a 29 gem skin. Parasol Frank hits hard with his parasol. Frost Queen Amber has now been upgraded to the legendary skin. Mortis sports a white tuxedo with a Gallo Mortis skin. Exclusive skins are coming back with some recolors. Wizard Byron is now Byron the White. Risho Nita is an adaptation of Neon Nita. Miss Jetski Jackie? Get ready for Wave Hopper Jackie. Filmmaker Buzz is a redox of the director. Smuggler Penny has been smuggled back with Moon Cursor Penny. Piano 8-Bit replaces Saloon 8-Bit. And Scarlet Pal Paladin Surge is a red variant of Paladin Surge, but it's only obtainable through Monster Eggs. Harem Baby was remodeled into Gamer Baby, and Urban Ninja Terra is the updated Street Ninja Terra recolor. And I'll be giving away 10 of these on Twitter. We also get the cute Squad Buster Shelly skin. Finally, from Supercell Make, we get Dark Samurai Jean and Nightmare Sandy to boot. In addition to City Smash, we have two new-ish game modes. 5v5 Knockout is here, and the less brawlers your team has, the stronger the remaining brawlers on your team are. There's also a new rank modifier called Second Wind, where brawlers spawn where they died instead of the starting spawn point. If you like this video, watch this one here.